how to use keyframes in CapCut PC. So, hey everyone, welcome to How to Browse a YouTube channel. And in this video, I'll show you how you can use keyframes. So let's jump right into the video without wasting any second. So just grab the video, drag it in the timeline. And here we like to add, I want to add an effect, zooming in right at this part, because this is a special part of this video the cat is having a good time and I want to make sure I add a keyframe right here so I'll just um, I would go control control B so I know I here I want to add a keyframe so now what I have to do the zoom will start right at the beginning of this video right when video starts the zoom i the zoom want i want to start the zoom so i want the zoom to start at the beginning at the beginning of this video so what you have to do is to go to video and then here in position and size please enable position and size um, and then what you have to do is seem pretty simple so here what you have to do is to enable click on add frame add keyframe and here actually sorry add keyframe at the beginning add keyframe and then right this part i will add a zoom and so just select a video and just zoom in but Actually, I would like this part, this video, because this there's another one here. You can zoom from here. Okay. You can zoom in the video so you can see. Keyframe is not on here. Select the video and you can uh, use the position or you can also move the video. Now, this is what we created. So let's play the video. And as you can see, the zoom works. And that's pretty much how you add keyframes. Now, if you want to Let's say add a keyframe here. We need to add another one because there's a new video. If there's, um, if we didn't have a video, then the, uh, we didn't have to add a keyframe again. But now we have a new video, so we have to add a keyframe. We add a keyframe now around here. We can zoom again. You can use scale or you can also use control and use the middle button on your mouse and you can zoom in and you can also move the video and the position changed or you can also use here but it, it's, I just don't like it. it's very annoying actually you can also rotate a video maybe but yeah what I like to do is just to use from here you can you can rotate from here as well, like this, and then zoom in, and it's the same stuff, as you can see. And then we can maybe we want to zoom out, so use this, or use this. But in this case, we can zoom out that much, so we can grab it and resize it, so I'll just use this. I'll just use the scale, and I'll reposition. And yeah, so now from keyframe from here, this keyframe to the other one, the position changed. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned something today. If you did, don't forget to subscribe for daily tutorials. And I'll see you now in the next tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, 